In this video, you are going to learn how to make epic lightning visual effects using the insane powerhouse that is DaVinci Resolve. Feel the power. Oh, I could feel it. All right, here I am inside of Fusion. Start, I'm going to bring down a background node and just bring it to white. Next, I'm going to add a polygon node to get the shape of my lightning. I'm just going to use a straight line, but you can use whatever shape fits your project best. So I'm going to start adding a displace, then a fast noise. I'm going to change the type to X and Y. I'm going to bring down the X offset and the Y offset all the way. Then the X refraction, I'm going to hit equals. And that brings up this little box thing. So I can click on this plus icon and then drag away from that. So I have this little pick width thing. I'm going to bring that over to the Y refraction. So now the value of the X refraction will be equal to whatever the Y refraction is. Let's work on the fast noise. Bring up the scale a little bit. Play with the contrast. Just play around with the refraction, the scale, and the contrast especially. Start getting a wavy look. Now we're going to add some texture to it later. We're just working on the motion right now. You also want to crank up the seethe rate. One thing to note is that if you want the ends to stay still, like you're attaching it to a hand or something, add a rectangle node and then just soft edge that a bit. So now these edges will stay in the same place while the rest of it displaces and moves. There really aren't exact numbers to get this right, just play around until it looks right. Also for this step, I like to try turning it to discontinuous. That gives some nice jagged edges that I like. Now that we have some motion for our lightning, copy and paste this displace here. Now we have the same controls and bring another fast noise. Now with this one, I'm gonna crank the scale up all the way and the detail. Bring up the seed right on it. Now our displacement, we can bring the wire fraction down a little bit. Just needs to be subtle enough to give this texture kind of energy looking. Now this is the base of the lightning. Next, let's add a glow to it. I'm going to add a soft glow. To get a realistic fall off, we're going to be stacking multiple soft glows. I'm going to right click under options. I can click checker underlay. That just makes it a bit easier to see. And control C, control V, paste it. All right, I'm going to make a bigger one, bring down the gain a little bit, copy paste that again, make this one even bigger. You really want to play around with these until everything looks just right. All right, now that it's got a glow, if you want to color it, you can use a CC color corrector node and bring that to the color of your liking. I'm going to go with blue here. Now this is the basic lightning effect, but there's actually another way to do it that I think is way easier and looks better. You are going to have to download three plugins for it though, but they're all free, so I think it's definitely worth it. The three plugins you're going to need are Blitz, Tintensity, and Xglow. All of these can be found on Reactor. To start, I'm going to bring down a background node, same as last time. This time I'm going to bring the alpha all the way down. So I'm going to add the Blitz node. Look at that, half of our job is already done. I'm going to bring these over where you want. The really nice thing about this effect is that you have these little handles here, so you can track these to anything, move them around, animate them. Super easy. A bunch of really nice controls that we'll go over. Use the positions, the start and the ends. I like to bring up the smoothness a little bit, makes it look better. And bring up the amplitude turbulence a little bit. Now the amplitude determines how crazy it is. If I drag it up all the way here, you see it is utter chaos, just going crazy. And if I bring it all the way down, just a little line, kind of like a glowing tree. Just gonna leave that as it was. Actually, for the sake of playing around, I'm gonna go to this tab here, go under exponential glow and just disable that. That'll make things play back a lot smoother. Under the branching tab, under branch length, I usually like to link all and just drag it down like that. So it's a little bit less wild and a bit more controlled. I like that. So the really nice thing about this is I can hit control C and then just paste it as many times as I want. And it changes the seed of them every time. So now we have all these unique different lightning things. I think that's a little bit much though. So I'm just gonna bring it down to three. You will notice that the edges here are pretty smooth and don't look really real. So actually, we can borrow our rough and displace here and just paste that back here and drag that in. Let me bring down the Y fraction a little bit. That just gives it a little bit more texture and makes it look cooler. All right, now for the next plugin, you're gonna need X-Glow. This is my favorite glow. It's free on Reactor. I love this. Look at how realistic it is. Like if you just compare it to this, it is just so much better and all in one node. This is like, I seriously love this tool. I'm gonna give it a cool color. I think I am going to have some green lightning. Green is cool. 
Look at that. That is epic. Now to refine things further, I can use the Tintensity node. Another plugin, but I think this is the plugin that I used most out of like all the plugins I have. It is so awesome. It has all these vibrance mode. You bring up the vibrance, play around with the different settings. Get some really cool looking stuff. Play around with the saturation. Play around with the hue. I can change all the colors of it. Maybe I want a more golden look. That's cool. And of course I can mess with the gain and the gamma. Now gamma looks really cool with glows. I'm seriously digging this gold color. I think I'm gonna switch from green to gold. Now of course you can mix and match all of these things. Even if I didn't use the blitz tool, I would definitely use the X glow tool just on normal lightning. Just look at the difference that makes. Then of course, once you're done, you wanna drag it into the media out. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you wanna composite this over footage is that energy, especially lightning effects, look better on dark backgrounds. Congratulations, you have now unlocked the secret to- I actually use this technique in my Ghostbusters Proton Stream video, which you can check out right here.